it's possible that I might have gone to a yard sale or six today on my way to drop off some packages at the post office. So who's ready for a quick yard sale haul? Let's go. Oh my goodness, folks, I am revising Amy, and right now we are revising Amy into a mess. We're going to be starting a new chapter in our lives at some point, but first we've got to stop buying the things at the yard sales. That's right, I had to drop off two sales. I sent out four this morning and then took two more out and realized that the who postman had come like right at 9.30. Usually he's, you know, a little bit of leeway, so I ran those into town because it's Saturday, so I figured I might as well, and I needed to get a prescription. So uh, on the way, I happened to follow some yard sale signs. I thought I'll only go to one or two. I went to six, but I didn't buy that much. So let me just show you what I got. Uh, first sale went to, had a lot of small things and I couldn't look that long there because I had to run to the restroom. So that was awkward, but, and their prices were really good. I should have gone back actually. So I got this really cute pair of Merrells, good shape. And these are a size, probably four is my guess. Hold on, eh, hold on. They're small and they're brown and pink and cute and US five, yes, so youth. Uh, I got that. I got this is a horny toad corduroy jacket and it is really cute. It is a size medium. Um, does have pearl snaps. I don't know if that's the woman who was there said it was hers. So it's not a kid's, but it looks kind of small. And then the other thing I got, oops, if I can get out here without knocking over my little pile was this pair of Doc Martin boots. Can you see that? They're docks. Uh, they do have a side zip and they basically have been worn a smidge. These are also a youth size and I believe they're four. So where are we? Yes, size four. And I'm going to have to do some research to make sure that those are legitimate. I haven't seen those labels before, but I think they're kids. They do say made in England on the bottom. And so I haven't seen any kids made in England, but kids docks do sell fairly well with for me. And for all three of those things, it was $8. So cannot go wrong for that. All right, then I was driving around as you do, and I went to another sale and they had some jeans. And these might be for my friend who helped with some photos. Oh no, these are the guys. So these are a 32, 34, just an American Eagle. And I got all of the jeans for $6, so $2 a pair. Uh, and I don't have a lot of guys jeans right now, so I picked those up. American Eagle sells fairly well for me whenever I list it, at least in the ladies. Uh, these are the ones that might be for uh, my friend. These are a six long. Uh, I don't know if she'll want them because she, she said to me, I only have distressed jeans. Uh, she was one of the girls who came and helped take photos. I will probably put a video up around that or a short that you will have seen before this or after this or sometime. But anyway, they did a fabulous job. Super exciting. These are in great condition. If she doesn't want them, I'll sell them. And then these are uh, Aeropost style Tokyo Darling Super Highway Shorties. These also might be for her. Uh, but they are new with tags and let's see, they don't have a price, but they're high waisted and very distressed. So if my friend wants them, I'll sell them. Otherwise I'll keep them. These are size eight and I think she's probably a six, but you can never tell with stuff she'd have to try them on. So those are cute. Grabbed those, uh, was following signs, trying to find sales. Couldn't find the one I was looking for, but I found this one. And this is a Laurel Birch parrot bag. It does have a little bit of distressing down here. I've sold a couple of the vintage Laurel Birch bags. Uh, I got this for $3 and it's fabulous. It does have some fading. Interior is pretty good. I just need to give it a little vacuum with my handheld vacuum, which I love using on the purses. It has totally changed my purse game. I'll link that below. The one I got, I have two. I actually got two to compare, but I've never opened up the, the other one that's more name brand because the little one I got works great. Um, anyway, so it zips and it was marked five. I said, will you take three? And she said, sure. So I got it. That was fab. I went to another sale after that one and there were like four things. It was the one I was looking for when I found that one. And cause there were signs and I was like, okay, great, big sale. She had this huge tent, huge, lots and lots of clothes, but most of it like, eh. Like she had a time and true faded shirt 
tank top that was extra large. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I'll get it. And I'm like, isn't time and true Walmart? It was $3 and it was worn out. And I was like, mm, no. But she said, as you came in, she's like, oh yeah, if it's not marked, it's a dollar. If it is marked, that's a starting point. I was like, okay, cool. So I got like four things I was thinking of getting. And I'm like, okay, what's the best price you can do? And she, she's like, oh, $15. Which when I added up was the actual price on the tags. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, would you do 12? Because you said that's a starting point. She's like, no, 15. I'm like, okay, well, you said it was a starting point. Like if she'd even countered at 14, I would have grabbed the stuff. But I didn't really need it. There was this picture that was kind of cool that I was going to use for the Airbnb, you know, and there were a couple things to sell, but it was like Lauren Conrad pajamas. Like they were $5 and I was like, eh, but they were cute and plus size. So I was like, I'll try those. But she's like, well, I, I worked really hard setting up this sale and I, I want $15. I'm like, okay, thanks. I'll see you later. Which I totally would have got this stuff if she like even did a dollar or if she hadn't said it like that was a starting point. So I was confused. And it was hot. So I was like, all right, cool. Well, have fun keeping all the stuff that you set up. Because a lot of her crap, like, it was crap. Mm. Anyway, but there was a lot of it. So I did not buy anything there. And I went to a sale I had driven by on the way into town. So I went on the way out. And they had everything half off, which I loved. And so they had um, this little tchotchke, just a little whatnot shelf. And so it was $3, so it was $1.50. Um, these kind of little vintage crafty shelves sell really well for me. Um, unfortunately, selling on eBay is kind of a pain because they're bigger. I like selling them more on um, Poshmark. But this one I love and it's going to be hard not to keep it because it's got some really cute toll painting on it. So it's got this and then I think her mom did both of these. Her mom, you'll see, made this first. So it opens up isn't that precious so this one's handmade i believe and it's hand painted is it signed no but anyway it's just a cute little whatnot shelf for decor rocks trinkets etc this was five so it was 250. i sold a vintage toll painted lazy susan for 60 dollars i think oh my gosh and it was slightly damaged. It had the same kind, the same coloring on it. Very 80s. Uh, okay. And then we have these two little bags and we're done. So uh, they had this really cute vintage 70s purse. This might be 80s. It was a dollar. So it was 50 cents. Oops, stay here. Don't fall down. There might be breakable things. I can't remember. Um, interior is in excellent condition. Strap is okay. Has a patent number. Let's see. Did I see any tags on this one? I don't think I did, but I didn't really look just because of the style. So it can be a clutch. Very cute. Um, stay. And then hold on. Oh, I got everything in the bag. Ooh, hold on. Where we go? Ooh, ooh, there we go. All right. This was so cute and I do sell aprons. I've had some that are sitting, but this one I don't think is gonna sit for long. It is adorable. It's got little sparkly gingerbread peoples on it. Um, and then it's got this fab pocket and just some black trim up at the top with a heart. So this one was handmade by her mama and it was so cute. So, and then I got this, which I, oops. I got to fix the chain, uh, which I might keep. And it was, I guess, 13 cents or 12 cents and 50, 12. Anyway, the whole total for everything here came to 11.50 and I just gave them $12. Um, I might keep this at the farm because we have a lot of frogs and I love froggies, always been a thing, or I might sell it. It's just super cute, cheap metal, but you know, you gotta have a few little tchotchkes once in a while. Uh, this wallet is vintage and I grabbed it and I couldn't, it was hot, so I didn't try and open it. Yeah, it opens, Ugh, beautiful. And it was 25 cents. So, and then it has this little um, coin pocket, really good condition. And I have really, I'm gonna take the tags. I should be taking the tags off everything. Remind me that, because otherwise sometimes they leave marks. Um, but I have really good luck selling vintage wallets for a good price. All right, uh, this, I actually have the matching little trivet 
that I got at another yard sale. And so I'm going to put them together because I think two of them on the wall would be kind of a fun thing in a kitchen in a little gothic lounge. Um, but also two of them would be better for a big pot if you wanted to actually use them as trivets. They don't have things there. And let's see, this one, the other one is marked. This one isn't marked and I feel like it's more modern. So I'll see if they go together. If not, eh, it was all right. It was a dollar. Uh, these I got, they are little cutie overalls, size medium. They're Can Can, which is a jeans brand that lots of people like. Um, these might also go to the young lady who helped with the photos, one of them. Um, but they're just a cute pair of distressed shorty overalls. All right, my, this is a bag situation is getting out of hand. This is a very cute green, the there's rust on the rings, which is fine. Um, Cause the rest of it is in remarkable condition. Like it was just sitting around. So it's a made in India boho bag. Um, I'm tempted to keep it. I don't need it, but maybe I do. I don't like switching purses though. So eh, we'll see then. Okay. This they stuffed with a bunch of other things, but this is a purse her mom made and it's so cute. This is baseball flannel. Um, it was a dollar. I mean, seriously, but it's got this great, like her mom was really good at stuff. It's got this great zipper. Hold on. <coughs> Take the price tag off they put stuff in here so there we go um and it's just got this great interior let me let me get that um this hello is beautiful and it's purple and black and it is also a vintage gold label victoria's secret negligee now the only it's a size small um, the gold label, the only gold label Victoria's Secret I found is like a waffle knit cream sweater or shirt that's not in the best condition, so it hasn't sold yet. Um, and I probably have it marked a little too high, but I'm okay with that. That, I have to look up comps and see if I can find the exact thing. Okay, these were just super cute, so I grabbed them because it was a dollar. And a little tchotchkes like this, potentially. Um, so this is advertising. So it's got alcohol. It's Bailey's. This is a little picture and this is marked, um, 1996 edition, limited edition. It is made in China. Um, but she's got no trips or cracks. Plus, let me put her there. Hopefully she doesn't break, uh, pulling out her little friend. So I don't know if that's like the cream and this is the sugar bowl. We've got our little gentleman. And he is also marked 1996 on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and has the yum. So I thought those were just delightful. And then you can see the interior of this bag. So cool. It's got pockets. Like it's just a great shaped bag. It does need a little dusting. Um, but her mama made that. And I thought with a baseball, like how cute would that be for some mama who like supports her kiddo or someone who just loves baseball? Uh, I got this just because of the color and because of the price. It's not something I normally pick up, but it was 50 cents. Um, and I just liked the look of it. It does need vacuumed on the inside. So this is just a Tiganello purse, which I would never normally pick up. Uh, but I think I can probably sell it for like 20 bucks, maybe 15, just because of the metallic color. And the metallic again is going to be in on trend for fall. This is a fun size. It's not too small, not too big. It does have the little hang tag if I don't think anyone cares about that, um, but it's in really good condition. I just need to stuff it. So I grabbed that for 50 cents. Why not? And I think this is our last thing from our super quick yard sale haul. So this is just a little carpet bag and I'm thinking her mom might have made this as well, but let me see. So I didn't ask her about this one. Um, but it's got its own little coin purse that matches. I don't know if that's a coin purse or a dollar, like a billfold. Uh, it's got a chain that you can remove and it is simply gorgeous on the inside. I mean, it is like so well made. Her mom, like she made this and never used it. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure this is handmade. 
There are no tags, no signs of tags. And it's just exquisite. So my guess is she was making these in the 80s is kind of what the vibe is. I should have asked a few more questions, but she was also kind of sad. I don't know if she recently lost her mom or just is like starting to get rid of stuff. So, but look at how cute that little thing is. And so with the whole <coughs> cottage core, maybe Regency. I don't know if that's really Regency. I could go with maybe Regency for that, for just a little like reticule. Anyway, that's it. So I spent maybe 20 bucks. No, I spent more than 20, maybe 30 bucks total on everything. And I should be able to make at least 150, if not more on that. After I do some research, I guess these, hold on. <coughs> I guess it was a cough nose sneeze. Anyway, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this cute little yard sale haul. I had a lot of fun going out and just finding a few things and following the signs wherever they led. And they led me to yum. I hope everything's going well with you. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure that if you haven't subscribed, hey, subscribe. It's really super helpful. And uh, yeah, just got a fun mortgage thing. Uh, I don't have a fixed rate mortgage. When we purchased this farm, they were not lending uh, with fixed rates. They would not give one. And no one will refinance because there are two houses on it and they're manufactured homes. So it's a weird property. Anyway. Yeah, my farm payment just went up $200 a month. Yay. So subscribe, hit the like button, watch all the commercials. I appreciate it. Anyway, for those of you who do all those things, thank you so much. It's awesome. We made 28 bucks this month. Yay. <laughs> I hope everything's going well with you. I'm having a great time trying to figure out what I'm doing and if I need to find a job in September. I'll keep you posted. Hope everything is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.